Boop, boop. Hey, Gary Korb here from CigarAdvisor.com, and it's time again for fan mail. Today, I've got a question from Dennis B. in Cranberry, New Jersey. He wants to know, is a cigar holder a worthwhile accessory? Now, it's also called a cigar tip or a mouthpiece, and we have it right here. And I couldn't find much history on the uh, cigar mouthpiece, but I can tell you that um, they were probably popular mostly in the 19th century and uh, probably invented by someone who uh, was a real neatnik who didn't want to get their fingers stained with tobacco juice or didn't want to actually put the cigar in their mouth. And um, they're kind of like a piece of jewelry. You know, um, they come in uh, a variety of uh, shapes and sizes and materials. Amber was uh, very popular uh, for a while and uh, briarwood, which kind of makes sense. Um, silver, uh, gold, ivory. This one's made of meerschaum and um, they also range in price as you can imagine. Uh, some of them are antique so they could be very expensive. Now I bought this one, this meerschaum one here, uh, at a uh, trade show many years ago because I thought it would be you know, kind of a cool thing to have, you know, especially for the nub of the cigar, not the uh, whole cigar, because I like having the cigar in my mouth for the most part. And um, so what you do is you just put it in there like that and draw on it. Now, the only thing I noticed, which was quite disappointing, was that the flavor of the cigar just kind of went away. And I've tried it over the years on and off only to find the same thing and I think the reason is there's really a tangible relationship between actually having the cigar in your mouth where you can really get all the flavor not just from the smoke but the tobacco itself. Now in addition to losing a lot of the flavor from the cigar, uh, like a pipe uh, stem, it's uh, going to collect juices and stuff. So after a while I also noticed that it got very juicy and all that bitter tar and juice you know, eventually got into my mouth and of course that's pretty nasty. Uh, the last thing is uh, that only a certain size cigar would fit in here. This I think was made for a 50 ring gauge cigar so a 60 ring is not going to do it and a Panatella is not going to do it so you have to make sure you have just the right size so you can't use it for every single cigar. So to be quite honest I really can't recommend that you uh, use a cigar holder uh, unless you just like want to look cool and uh, I'm sure there are a lot of guys out there who probably swear by them, you know. So if you want to try a cigar holder, you know, be my guest. Uh, you might find that it's, it's great. Uh, the other thing is I really think that just by their nature, they're better for collecting than actually uh, being a replacement for, you know, putting in your, you know, putting the cigar right in your mouth. So what I suggest is if you really want to smoke the entire cigar, try the old Cuban method which is where you have a pipe and you stick the nub in the pipe and there you go and then you can finish the whole cigar so that's about it for cigar holders give it a try if you want but ixnay for me